Hello and welcome to All Top Fives. I love space, and one of the most stunning things to behold out there is a nebula. There are so many, and I want to showcase five particularly beautiful nebulae that our amazing telescopes have managed to capture in all their glory. Number five, the Statue of Liberty Nebula. Starting off with the only non-animal named one in my list, this minor nebula NGC 3576 is about 6,000 light years from Earth. At around 50 light years in diameter, it's pretty huge for a minor nebula, and it's so pretty too. In this image, you can see why it's called the Statue of Liberty Nebula. These dark clouds that form the titular shape are vast quantities of stellar dust, the birthplace of new stars. The huge loops of hydrogen gas that glow with such splendour are the remnants of dying stars, blasting their material off out into space, creating these wonderful shapes. All of this is backlit by nearby stars. It's a magnificent sight to behold. Number 4. The Crab Nebula Named after the shape observed when it was first discovered in 1840, this famous nebula is actually the leftovers of a supernova, an exploded star, that it's thought was viewed by Chinese astronomers in 1054. It's 6,500 light years away from Earth, and it's still expanding from the original star's explosion, moving at about 1,500 kilometers per second. There's a neutron star at its center now, about 30 kilometers across, spinning at about 30 times a second. All of this activity and energy is what has caused the beautiful, chaotic colours and shapes. It's definitely reminiscent of the late stages of an explosion, with material jetting out in all directions. It's gorgeous, even just with a visible light view like this. Number 3. Butterfly Nebula This one holds a special place in my heart, I'll explain in a minute. The Butterfly Nebula lies about 3,500 light years away, so it's closer than number 5 and number 4, and it has one of the most complex structures of all nebulae known. There is a central white dwarf star that is surrounded by two dense disks of dust, whose material has been cast off in two directions, giving us this beautiful butterfly wing effect. Much of what you can see has been cast off from the original central star, that used to be a lot bigger. So why is this one so appealing to me? Well, aside from its obvious striking beauty, it was the first nebula that I visited in virtual reality in the space simulator Elite Dangerous, and it took my breath away. I know I've not really been there, but the experience was so strong, I still look at the Butterfly Nebula with fondness when I see it in these photos. Number 2. Tarantula Nebula Oh, if only real tarantulas were as majestic as this, then I probably wouldn't be quite so scared of them. It's an intensely luminous nebula, as we can see it fairly brightly at over 160,000 light years away. If it was as close to Earth as some of our closest nebulae are, it would be bright enough to cast shadows. That's jaw-droppingly bright. It's a rich, swirling tapestry of colour and light made up of dust and gas in vast quantities, with a dense cluster of stars at its centre that light the whole thing up. Another claim to fame for the beautiful Tarantula Nebula is that in 1987, it hosted the brightest supernova since the invention of the telescope 400 years before, and it was actually visible to the naked eye in the Southern Hemisphere, even at such a great distance. All these filaments of different colours and lengths and shapes make one of the most pleasing nebulae to behold ever to be imaged. Number 1. Fairy of Eagle Nebula The Eagle Nebula, discovered in 1745, is around 7,000 light years away. It's from the Eagle Nebula that the famous Pillars of Creation image was taken back in 1995 by the Hubble Telescope. These pillars are immense clouds of hydrogen gas and dust that will eventually form new stars and solar systems. But this isn't even the Fairy and Eagle Nebula that I'm talking about. This is. At almost 10 light years long, this pillar of dust is known as the Fairy. And I'm sure you can see why. 
The layers of dark cloud interspersed with and lit up by specks of light from massive stars forming, towering above a rich dark pillar streaming out radiation, all backlit by a beautiful orange glow. Oh, it's one of the most jaw-dropping images from space that I think I've ever seen. To think that that's actually out there. Wow. And that's it from all top fives for this week. As you can probably tell, I adore this topic, and I hope you enjoy gazing at some of the beautiful images of things that we can barely comprehend as much as I do. It's definitely something I'll be coming back to. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like because it does help me out and it lets me know what sort of things you enjoy watching as well. If you've stumbled across this video and you don't know who I am, why not subscribe and then you'll see a new video from me every Tuesday on all different topics. I'd like to know what you think of the nebulae that I've presented in this video. Let me know in the comments, but just remember to be polite and considerate. Let's keep this a nice clean comment section. Thank you. So all that's left is for me to say peace and love to each and every one of you. And I'll see you all next time on All Top Fives.